it again. So this time what I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, as a project is on my headlights, I have no turn signals. I ended up picking up a set of uh, old Harley lights. Check them out. So here's one, this is the base of it. I do have another one. Uh, where is it at? Oh, down here, sorry. Here it is right here. Old uh, Harley uh, lights. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these as turn signals. Uh, I picked them up on eBay. I've been trying to search for these. Finally got some at a reasonable price. Everything I seen, they wanted about 300 bucks for them. I got these for 60 bucks for the pair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use them on my headlight and I'm gonna place them right about here, bolt them in um, and I'll wire it up to use as a turn signal. So it's pretty cool, I kinda like this. Uh, they do have these other headlights, you know, the BLC ones that have the, the turn signal up here. Ah, it's cool, whatever, you know. Um, those are fine too. I kinda like the fact that I can use these here, bolt them on here, right about down here. Has a Harley uh, a look. I think these are like 60s uh, um, Harley lights. I can't remember what it said on there, but I seen them. They do have repop ones uh, that they use for motorcycles, but they're, they're kind of ugly. It's not the same, um, but I definitely want to use these. So I'm going to go ahead and install these. I won't wire them up yet. I just want to go ahead and give them a little angle, put them on, on both sides of, the, of my headlights. Uh, use them as turn signals. I'll wire it up eventually. But for now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and take off these headlights, um, drill some holes, and, and bolt them through. They have the the nut on them right there. So this base on it is going to sit perfectly right onto my uh, headlight. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start doing that. If so, I'll show you guys how I do it. Okay. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to measure... Um, from this tab here. That way I can equally measure it down on both sides. So I'll go ahead and measure from here all the way down, kind of angle it and see what what I'm looking for, what kind of, uh, how low I want it. I definitely want it more than halfway, maybe a third way down from the headlight. Um, so that way, you know, it doesn't interfere. If you look at the tire here on this side, you can see that it's, if I have it too high here, I might hit my tire here. So I'm gonna probably want it right about here. Uh, you know, once it's in, that's a good inch and a quarter. I can push it in more. So I think I should be able to clear it, but this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for right at about here, this area here. If so, um, and I'll do it on that side. I'll measure from the um, pin here, work my way down and see what that comes out to. And I'll do it on both sides that way it matches if so. So in this case here, I'll uh, go ahead and I'll start just taking off my headlights. That way I can have access inside. Pretty easy project to do. Uh, just installing it for now, it's not gonna work. So I wire it all up, so I'm gonna have to get some some wiring. Uh, I'll definitely do the wiring for it. Um, so not the, I'm gonna have to get a turn signal switch, but I've been wanting to do this, uh, adding these turn signals on it. Um, just something unique, you know. You don't see you don't see this too often. I haven't seen anybody with these on, and uh, the reason why I'm doing it is because I had it on my Roadster before, my 29 Roadster I had. I had these little uh, Harley lights on it, and um, you know, no one has it, so you, you kind of you got to be kind of unique sometimes, uh, do your own thing. You know, a lot of people, you know, you can you can do what everyone else is doing if you like. Totally fine, nothing wrong with that. Um, I just want to just be a little slightly different. Um, so here's my wiring. I'll go ahead and. Take the wiring off of that. I'll put this to the side. And I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. I'll take it off, that way I can drill it up. Drill out the hole, it'll be easier. Have more access, I can go ahead and tie that down. So let's go ahead and come over here. Go ahead and do this. 
But like I said, yeah, I, I, I had it on my Roadster and it, it was cool. I liked it. Um, it was just different. That's all. Uh, these are chrome. Other ones I had painted. Um, if you look some of my other videos about my Roadster, you'll see the uh, the lights, the way they were set up up front. Um, you'll see the little turn signals, and they're the exact same lights off of a Harley. Uh, it's like a '60s Harley, I believe. Um, I can't remember what, what they called it. Uh, '60s um, knucklehead. I don't know something like that. I, just, I don't know much about Harleys, but. I know the lights and I like the way they look. But like I said, mine were painted because uh, I had painted my car, so I painted them black. These are chrome, so for now, I'll, I'll, I'll roll with them chrome. Just leave them, just leave them the way they are. Um, this car ain't gonna get no paint anytime soon, so it's gonna be uh, you know some shiny parts. Some parts ain't gonna be shiny, but it's all good. Um, at the end of the day, is, is, is what you like, um, how you wanna build it. Got plenty of time. As time goes on, uh, you know, you'll, you'll start doing upgrades a little by little, whatever you want, however you want to change it up. So, the other thing I want to add to is possibly a, a fog light right up here. You know, looks pretty cool. Um, I had that on my roadster as well. I might want to add one here for it too. So, um, I'll go ahead and start measuring. I'll see what I'm gonna kind of what I'm gonna want. So in this case here, I'm thinking right about down here. So if I say here, I need to get a marker with the marker. So I'll just kind of come down, get that face right. All right, so here I'm looking about, oh God, let's see. I'm just going from this point here all the way down, eight and a half inches, eight and a half inches down. Eight and a half inches, I think eight and a half inches is gonna work just fine for me. Right where I want it, down here. I think that would be perfect. Cool, eight and a half. I'll throw that baby out. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of mark it, eight and a half inches. Um, comes out it comes out all right don't have to be perfect but i'll definitely try to do it as best as i possibly can all right let's do this let me mark my holes already uh, put a marker pen i'll go ahead and use this that way i can start it off try to center it going eight and a half inches Started. Let's see. All right, one 
thing I'm forgetting. Safety glasses. Got them right on top of my head. I'm going to put those on. There we go. This thing is kind of dull, man. I got to take it back. Can you give me another one? One second. pointing towards the back. Let me tighten this up here. And we'll go ahead and uh, keep going. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I like this style. Hey, you guys, you guys like it? Uh, go for it, man. Go to town with it. Um, you know, uh, if you guys want to do the same thing, um, it's different. You know, um, don't be afraid to be different. I do have these torques. With this wire in through it, just to get to that nut, I have this set of uh, Craftsman torques set up here. It's kind of nice because you can use the half because that's what it is and then you set up your, put it right in between it does the job just perfect like check it out you guys don't have this torx tool it's nice I like it uh -huh. hard to reach areas you got to go through the whole bolt it's perfect to use so this is stuff it's stuff i use it for it's kind of like oh man it's good it's a good 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 thing to, to have it so um, so in this case, look, uh, go ahead. I want to go ahead and drill the hole. Put my wire through here. There is a, a washer. I'm going to stick the washer through the wiring. And I'll lock it back in place. And I'll get back to wiring, like I said. Um, I'll rewire it. Um, All I'm gonna do is just kind of install it for now. Uh, same thing here. Look, this is gonna work for me here. I'll go ahead and I'll put my extension. Oops, not that. Got this extension. We will stick the wire all the way through. Oh, my bad. This one. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you a quick close up. So here, it's on. Uh, tighten it down. See how it sits flush right on it it's perfect right let me go ahead and um, put the face of it on that way you guys can see how it's gonna look all right so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in here give you guys a better idea what it's gonna look like on this side here So this one here, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it the way it is. I'll wire it another day. Um, 
for now. I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, put it on. I gotta get all my wiring. I gotta get a turn signal switch for me to add on as well. And uh, and I'll do that. Uh, I just been wanting to do this for now. Um, good, it's nice and tight. Oh, I put the headlight on. Give you guys a, the whole look. What it's gonna look like. My wiring back in. Pretty simple. Wiring it up. It's the same thing. Um, it's not that hard. Uh, I just gotta get a turn signal switch. So there you have it. There it is. This is gonna be my uh, turn signal at the bottom there. And I'll drill out this one on this side, do the exact same thing. I'll go ahead and uh, make some room on this side here. There you go. Perfect. Look at that, it's not even gonna hit there. Um, so I'll do the same thing on this side, go ahead and drill it out. And I'll put this one on. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the look I'm going for as a turn signal, you know? Um, like I said, let me know, see what you guys think. I'll go ahead and do the next side. Uh, I'll give you guys a whole look, see what it's gonna look like with it. Complete. Go ahead and drill this out. Damn, double check, always double check my measurement. Should be even a half, do that side. Yeah, perfect. This one apart, all I'm gonna do is uh, tighten up the screw. That way, it tightens up the lens on it. That thing wants for it to be rattling on you when you're driving out there.
said, man, it's a uh, easy, simple bolt on, you know, not much uh, basic tools, you know, uh, doing this, drilling out, you got yourself a drill, step drill, um, not hard at all. These are just like little things anybody can do. Um, you want to pay someone to do it, fine, go for it. You know, I, I, I think it's uh, a lot nicer to try to do the work yourself. Uh, if you can save yourself some money and I can go towards something else uh, but if not no worries man uh, you know definitely can have someone do this uh, for you if you can't uh, do it but it's, it's pretty basic stuff simple uh, little uh, different you know uh, changing it up don't want to be the same uh, that's that's all it is I, I like to want to be a little bit unique, don't want to pull up to a, a car show and hey look, he's got the same headlights, everything, uh, you know, people look at that stuff, I could care less, but hey, I'm making it my own, uh, and that's, that's, what it's, that's what matters here, hey, make the car your own, um, unique to you, uh, want to see the same old thing uh, out there, so you can, like I said, I, I just wanna be a little bit different, that's all. Nothing wrong with, with having the same thing everybody else is having, just uh, change it up. I can always take these off, you know, if I don't if I don't like the way they look, but I, I, like I said, I had them on my road, so I definitely liked it. Um, and I'm putting them on again. I've been wanting to put them, I couldn't find them. Now that I got them, it's you know looks good so like i said you guys let me know see what do you guys think um let me go ahead and straighten out the wheels it's different oh. give you guys a better idea see what it looks like all right um next <coughs> excuse me next would be um me uh wiring them up that way i can go ahead and, and uh you know they light up so I, I definitely got to get a um, turn signal switch I will I'll just, I'm gonna have to um, cut into all my wiring and then just kind of add it into it but I'll show you guys that at another time uh, once I get that switch wire it up so you guys can see these light up like I said something simple just a matter of bolting it up then wiring it for now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll run with these little lights on the side they won't come on but uh, something pretty cool off of an old uh, 60s Harley. Um, I know they sell these reproduction ones. I don't think the glass, the glass on the front of them is totally different. Um, but still, anybody could run them. You guys can find them if you guys want to run uh, turn signal uh, uh, lights uh, like that on your headlights. It's an easy way to bolt on, uh, you know, by drilling out the hole. So, but anyways, thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, let me know. See what you guys think. Uh, definitely going to run this style. I like it it's different and you can definitely place those lights on another spot on top maybe more centered um totally up to you like i said uh run them the way you want to run them uh make the car unique to you um and you know they'll, they'll work they, they look good trust me uh but once again thanks again guys uh have a good day